starting, of course, with number one pick Paolo Bancaro of the Magic, uh, the surprising number one pick. And, you know, I, I saw Bancaro a lot at a young age because he's also from Seattle, saw him play in Jamal Crawford's Pro-Am, the crossover when he was, you know, I think 15, 16. But I hadn't seen him play in person since the start of the pandemic. And the one thing that really stood out watching him in person in Las Vegas is he is enormous. He kind of worked over Jabari Smith Jr., the other player that you know we thought was in strong consideration for Orlando at the number one pick, as well as Keegan Murray matching up against those two guys in, in the two games that he played. And you know, I think offensively, it was kind of what we expected from Paolo. Uh, a lot of creation, sometimes not the most efficient, only shot nine of 23 on two-point attempts in the two games he played and did have 10 turnovers. But Got to love the 12 assists that he had. He got to the free throw line 20 times. And he's kind of just the hub of an offense focal point that the Orlando Magic have needed. They've drafted a lot of guys, you know, more in the Jabari Smith mold, players with length, uh, players who can defend multiple positions, and they need someone to complement those guys. And Paolo Bancaro looks very much like that player. One thing that really impressed me besides the playmaking was, you know, I thought Paolo was a lot more competitive defensively than we saw much of the time at Duke, or at least on a consistent basis. Uh, did really well defending Jabari Smith Jr., was able to get up into him and, and cause Jabari Smith problems that way. And, you know, if he's that kind of defender in the NBA, I think Orlando could be very happy with him is the number one pick. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.